COVID-19 has created new, more complex environmental and societal ch challenges that no government can address alone. This, this, these are times in which nobody should be left behind and you have to cater to the, to the various different needs of different uh, sub-communities. Women are leading the, cha the change. They are at the front lines fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, heading social change movements, campaigning for the amendment of laws. You know, the innovation that is in a woman is always realized when there are crises. That's when you realize your best strength. Society is learning to work, society is learning to build, and society is learning uh, to grant and provide uh, hope required uh, for people to, to start afresh. This pandemic could be an opportunity to reset how things are done. People are thinking differently. Some things have changed, even here. Uh, the Evening Standard now has a woman editor. But many things in the world, Elizabeth particularly would say, have changed little. Among them, the opportunities for women to take up other seats of power. These political parties need to invest and invite these women to, to, to their tables, discuss with them, connect with them. This world cannot change unless in positive ways, in beautiful ways, in inspiring ways, unless we have more women in uh, decision-making roles. Organisations perform better when gender equality is embraced. And that is just as true in times of crisis. I'm less concerned about the timing with which a woman is brought into leadership positions and more concerned with the structure around them and whether that is going to allow them to flourish or not. Uh, to make sure that they feel nurtured uh, so that they can feel confident, that they have a nurturing ecosystem so that they can grow. We have a duty to do something to help bring these other women along or we're going to lose a whole generation of women who um, are, are uh, facing difficulties not of their own making. I think in terms of having women in leadership positions, I think if you are in that position, you have a great responsibility and the responsibility is to lead the ladder down. Once you do manage to get up to there through whatever challenging profession or, or field you are, do everything you can to make it easier for those who come after you. You know, until you see somebody that you identify with, it's very, you know, it's it's sometimes difficult to make that choice to step into something. I think about mentorship in a, in a more global way, you know, I think off the shoulders of every woman and man, anyone that's had an accomplishment, you can learn from them. We young women leaders can change the world for better. For this, we need to promote dialogue between the different generations to bridge the intergenerational gap between the young and older feminists. And we have never had uh, as much light and as much power that we have now. And it's a great occasion for us to just step up. I'm so privileged compared to my grandmothers, both grandmothers, and compared to my mother. And this is something that I really want that we make our kids aware of. Because uh, if we don't focus on that, we will regress. The gains that have been made need to be protected to continue on the trajectory uh, that women have made. You know, I tell young women, it's okay to be angry, and if you're not angry, you're not paying attention. I am not embarrassed as a woman that I am different from a man. I make no apologies for it. And I find it fascinating that the world seems to have developed its male capacity without developing equally its female capacity. That sometimes one of the biggest barriers to uh, leading is, is ourselves. And it's the pressure that we put on ourselves to be good enough, to be perfect. We will not feel successful at all time in all fields, but that is not something that um, should prevent us to follow our dreams. There's this concept of shelf space. You know, how much space does a product get on a shelf? Our job is to expand the shelf, not to compete for the shelf space.